Do you ever think about a doll that is about 18 inches tall that has lifelike features? I was looking, I got an email from um, Ash and Drake Gallery, and they have, um, it's not reborn, but it's lifelike toddler dolls. And what it is, is that I noticed they have a sculptor who does lifelike features. And I noticed that Dawson awesome VIE have lifelike features because they are modeled and created from real life children. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people struggle with when they see these dolls. And because of their size of being 18 inches tall, they're expecting them to look like the perfect vision of a doll. Well, we as people are not perfect. Well, I have a little breakout, but then our features are not perfect. But then at the same time, that's because we're alive. We're real people. Well, as I was looking at the toddlers on Ash and Drake Galleries, and I saw the toddler dolls, and it was, description was featured, realistic, lifelike features and I noticed that dolls from VIAE.com they have that unique special feature to provide to anyone and everyone so yeah I'm moving in closer now this is a custom Kawani at VIE yes yeah, she is wearing one of her outfits this is one of her actual outfits Look at the detail in her boots. I do not know if this outfit is still available. Possibly not. But know that these dolls are very limited editions. Um, they are in the price range of like what you would pay for a high quality 18 inch doll. For example, American Girl. But these are all vinyl. Many of you already know that. And I thought, wow, Kalani represents modern Native American doll um who is true to her roots her book her story it is true to her background roots of being a real native american girl part of the Powhatami tribe and um so is her brother um but now granted yes this one is customized i was going for you know more of a multiracial appearance and look as with the eyes but Look at the features, look at the ears, look at this jaw, incredible jawline. This doll, these dolls are hand sculpted by looking at real life models, real life children models. And that is why the features are so lifelike. If you look at that jawline, look at the nose, look at the sculpting of the nose, look at this cheek line, look at these, you see that? The sculpt, look at the lips. Look at this, the, the, you know, the peak bow, um, the way that they're made. Now, granted, your doll, they don't have her looking like this. You know, this one is a customized version. I do not have my original with me um, for personal reasons, not because I didn't like her, because I love her. I just didn't have room to bring her with me. So I brought, I did bring this one, um, but it's because of the facial sculpting. Look at that absolutely stunning sculpting that's because these were sculpted hand sculpted through a mold and then once it's clay sculpted they create a wax mold and then it goes into production i'll set her aside and again i'll bring up alexis alexis is the main character and she has different friends and she visits but i wanted to touch base with these um, i'm going to be touching base in video with a lot of dolls that I really love that are true to what I love and that I enjoy playing with. As for me, like I said, I have non-judgmental base, so I don't choose and pick over, you know, dolls that I love more than the others because I love them all the same. But a lot of people talked about, they said some good and bad things about Alexis. What you don't know is that when you get Alexis, what you get is a super high quality doll with amazing hair. The hair is everything. Now, my doll, I washed her hair. It's ultra thick. So, you know, for playing. And 
look at the sculpting. I really want you to pay attention to these things because they're very important. We don't get a lot of those that have a real lifelike sculpt. I'm moving my big head out the way so you can see the look. Some people said, oh, I don't like her smile or is too tooty. Let me tell you something. You are looking at a doll that was hand sculpted based on the appearance of real life children, real children. Um, I don't get to pick and choose what my face looks like. I did not get to pick and choose the shape of my face. I didn't get to pick and choose the shape of my mouth, my nose, my eye color, uh, my hairline, hair color, skin tone. I didn't get to choose any of those things. So you have to understand that these dolls were modeled after real life children. And so you have to understand too that None of us were created to look like a doll or the idea of perfection. And I think that is one of the most important things about with VIE, with the doll friends that you get. You get a beautiful, high quality doll with amazing hair play that you can cut, style, do any way you choose. Um, I do use a slight wig spray in my doll's hair to keep it super smooth and fun. And I have videos on that. But what I wanted to share was the realism of the details of her nose, her smile, her chin, and her lips, her mouth. But for Thanksgiving coming soon, we don't have a lot of dolls that are available. We don't have a lot of the Native American dolls that are available for us to purchase or to get. But we do have Kawani at VIE.com. Her hair is ultra long. It comes to about this long um, to the knees. Um, for you to really get to enjoy and to play with. I love her in this turquoise. I love turquoise. As you can see, these braids are really thick. I've done hair videos, so there are hair tutorial videos to show you how to care for your doll's hair. But if you get a chance, check out VIE.com. Um, plus, these dolls are fully articulated. You can see the bending articulation. Now, if you're familiar with kids and cats, if you're familiar with a doll of all time, um, the body type, as in the articulation, the way they're made, is quite similar. The difference is um, these, the vinyl is, a, is smoother um, and they're a little more heavier. Um, also, these do not wear wigs. You have the highest quality of nylon hair that's fully rooted. You can wash. Look how tight that hairline is. Um, you can wash the hair, do hair play. Her meat outfit is this is not it. It's very accurate to what a modern Native American girl would wear. Um, please know a lot of research went into um, looking for the a real true Paramami tribe Native American girl and boy doll. Um, Ellen did extensive research it took her two years it takes two years to develop one of these dolls on so many different levels one is doing the research for the background to create the book so that they're accurate to her heritage and to her people um also ellen got permission and a lot of things that were accurate from real people at the parawami tribe for Kowani and to make sure her name was accurate and then also with the features um she was sculpted by real life children who were Native American of that so that's how she got her her sculpting please know that I did an eye swap I repainted this one this is hand painted this is a prototype that I created this is not the doll that you will get but you can check her out at vie.com V-I-A, put a minus sign, E, and dot com. You can also do that with Google and public the website. Take a look, check it out, but know that you're getting a, a very unique doll. So I do apologize for not having the original with me. I may have one with me. I need to look at my doll bags. I have those Milo doll bags. But it's worth you investigating, checking it out. Um, to have an authentic Native American doll. Um, I do think of um, 
Kaya from American Girl, but she's based on, I believe, the 1800s of what a Native American girl was like, and at that time, you know, the, it, things were a lot different. None of us were here at that time. Um, what I like about Ellen's dolls is she bring us to what's happening today. Um, it's, you know, the, this doll, her background story, her book, everything about her is about what's a modern Native American girl's life about. So it, it gives us an insight and educates us. Look at those hands. Aren't they cute? So you get an inside story on what it's like to be Native American today. We all know the past, America's past, that deals with Thanksgiving, with the Native Americans and the pilgrims. We know that it's bittersweet. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for, for the Native Americans, because without them, um, our ancestors would not have learned how to grow crop and live off the land here in America. So we have a lot to be thankful for, for the Native American, all of the Native Americans that are here in the United States. We have so much to be thankful for to them. I most certainly am grateful and thankful for everything that was taught by them and for the things that they still do currently um, in here in the United States even today. So, also, I believe part of the sales to Kiwani goes to the Potawatomi tribe here in the United States. And I know that at the, you can Google Potawatomi tribe, Native American. Um, they also have a website. I know that on their, um, they have a, what, do you, what, what, do you, what is that? Uh, like a visitation place. That's where they're at, where visitors can come visit, things like that. And I know that they have some of the dolls that are there also for sale, you know, because a lot of the, those profits for the dolls, Ellen donated them to them so that they could sell them and keep the profits. Um, they have to make sure that she got the storyline, the storybook accurate and everything. So it's worth checking out. And also to have some... A bit of education on how Native Americans live today, currently. Um, we all have so much to be thankful for. But for me, I when I think of Thanksgiving now, you know, not what I was taught as a child in school. I don't really think of turkeys and things. But thanks to the Native Americans, we have turkeys. We know how to cook them and enjoy them and corn and potatoes. Um, things that come from our land, which are healthy for our bodies. So, anyway, I just thought I would put that in. You know, my mind is always pondering things. And I think that if you really want a true doll that's built on what's current in Native American, um, these are it. Um, Kawani and her brother. Yes, yeah, she has a twin brother and they're both available at VIE.com. So check that out, and in the comments, let me know what it is that you're thankful for on Thanksgiving. What is it that you think about? When you think of Thanksgiving, what do you think about? What are you grateful for? Um, I, I would like to read that. So don't worry, I do get notifications from all comments, and um, yeah, I would give you a ch um, thumbs up or a heart. So, yeah, in the comments, let me know what you think. Also, let me know what you think about a doll that's actually hand-sculpted to be created to look, to have realistic features like a real girl who is part of the Potawatomi tribe. Um, I think it's amazing, me personally. I have to look and see if I have, that I bring an original with me. I know I have one, but I, 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 I'm... I don't know, I brought several of those big Mylar bags that they have at, like, um, Ross. And I have these girls from VIE. I also have American Girl. But I'm going to be doing several videos that touch base, because here we are. We're getting closer to Christmas, but I wanted to focus on Thanksgiving of things to be thankful for. So I like the fact that 
you know, I have my beautiful Alexis who also, all of these dolls are hand sculpted to look and resemble real life children. Now, I do apologize because I'm not showing you a true accurate Kawani doll. This one is a, this is one uh, prototype that I designed that is not available because let's face it, um, Native Americans, true Native Americans do not have turquoise eyes and they're not painted like this. But I can assure you the one on the website is accurate in every way possible. This one was the one I grabbed because I put the outfit on and the turquoise and I wanted the eyes to pop. Um, so yes, but anyway, it lets you know that you can get a doll that's completely accurate and hand sculpted to look and mimic that of a real, true, live young girl. Not something that's supposed to be overly done in beauty or expected beauty, things like that, but what, what a real child looks like. That's what these dolls are based off of. The way a real person, a real child smiles and the features and things like that. So please take that in mind when you're looking at these dolls. Understand that they were not designed to look like the ideal beauty of what we see in like a doll that's been sculpted to grab your attention to be beautiful. No, these dolls are beautiful, but they were also handcrafted after real life models to look like real people. So that's why their features are different like none other, because these are realistic features that real people actually have. So take that in mind as well. So thank you for joining. I wish you all the best. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay.